Hello, Creeplings! Welcome to another episode of Pinch of a Cult! And today, I'm gonna be cursing Lupus! It's gonna be great! And not Lupus the disease, Lupus Creepus. The guy who also lives in this house. Alright, so everyone's been asking me to do a curse, and I've been kind of leery on curses because they can be kind of bad. And most of them end in like terrible, terrible things happening to you. And I don't want them to like die or get in an accident or something, because that would just be bad and pretty wrong. Plus, they have this thing called threefold that whenever you do something, it comes back at you in three folds, like three times worse. And I really don't want that. Like, that would just be bad. <laughs> I don't want bad things to happen to me. So. I'm going to be doing um, what's called Be Nice Stinging Binding Curse. It's not as bad as most other curses, it's pretty much just to make someone be nicer. So if they say something that's kind of mean, then they feel like they're getting stung by bees, which is his worst fear, and I thought it was appropriate, because I'm a great friend. Yeah. So, for this curse, uh, whenever they're mean to somebody, they'll eventually learn their lesson. And this one can also be dispersed. Like, when I'm done with it, and I don't want him to be cursed anymore, I can just burn it or get rid of it. And a lot of other curses are really hard to break, and I didn't feel like messing with that, just in case this works, because I kind of actually believe in magic and stuff like this. So I don't want it to actually happen. Anyways, let's get down to business. For this one, you'll need a puppet. Uh, which is like a little person or a doll or something. You can make them out of clay or fabric. Uh, I made one out of felt and it's like shaped like a little person. I've seen much more intricate ones which are like jointed and they look like a doll and I'm like nope I don't feel like doing that. So I made mine out of felt and clear thread. You can make it out of any color, I just chose black because I felt it was appropriate for a curse. Poppets can actually be used for other things like healing and calming and stuff like that. But we're doing a curse. Uh, so you're going to sew up a poppet and leave a hole open so you can put uh, the something that belongs to your person inside of it that you're trying to curse. Uh, I have stuffed mine with some uh, cotton synthetic fibers that I have because I crochet little creatures and stuff so I use stuffing for them. It was just easier to fill this with stuffing. Uh, you'll need a needle and thread obviously to sew it up and close it. Uh, finishing tacks which I have right here. They're tacks or nails. Either will work for what you need. You're gonna shove them in it. Uh, you'll need something of the person being cursed. Hair, uh, picture, their name, their signature, something like that. I he leaves his friggin' shaver out, and he doesn't clean it, so I took hair from it. It was easier. Also, he doesn't know I'm doing this. Uh, and then some black ribbon, um, or any color actually is fine. I found this on sale. It is black ribbon. Michaels. So, what you're gonna do is you sew up your poppet, which I already did, left the hole open, and then you're gonna take what you have to connect to the person, which is this weird hair stuff, and you're gonna put it in the puppet. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it'll go in. Yeah. So it's all inside and weird. And then you're gonna sew it all up. Maybe. So my sewing skills are uh, not that great, especially with this thread. So I decided to use the clear thread that I found because I didn't know where any of my other thread was. Not the greatest choice. It acts like fishing wire, fishing line. Not fun. So, so, so. so. I want to make sure none of it will get out. your pop it because that would be bad. Don't do that. Trim trim. Alright, so now that the pop it's all sewed up, you're gonna draw a face. Or you could take a picture of the person 
and print it out like I did. I took the best picture I found and printed it out and cut out his face. And you put it on your puppet. Because I didn't feel like drawing on black with nothing. I don't have anything that works on black. So a picture is the best. Also, I can do tape. There it is. So, just, you're just gonna tape it on there. Or staple it on there. You could be like Deadpool and staple your face on it. Like that in the movie. Totally. I'm gonna use tape. Alright. So now the curse knows what it's looking for, exactly. See? It's beautiful. Alright, and then you're gonna take your nails and your tacks or whatever, which we have plenty of, and then you're gonna stick them in the poppet where you would like them to feel stung as you speak these words. I didn't think about this part, so I'm just gonna stick them in wherever. It'll be fine. <laughs> um, so there's words you have to speak when you say this. So it's gonna be, I call upon the bees to teach this person when their cruel and stings immerse them. Also, bees aren't stabbing. <laughs> Stab. <laughs> ah, she did it. Cruel and stings immerse them. When they speak to others cruelly, stings they'll feel as if some truly. I might only get like two in. Whatever, that's close enough. No, it fell out. Truly. In the eyes, the throat, and more. I'm not gonna do the eyes. That's me. Do this hand. That went through the hand. <laughs> um, until it's kindness they're known for. The stronger the fight, the more stings come. Damn, I'm hurting myself doing this. There we go. <laughs> Until it's sweetness, this battle's won. We'll do one more. These aren't pointy enough. <sighs> okay. So, step through. And when you've put all the nails in, you take the ribbon, which I also didn't open, like a smart person. It's fine. And you're gonna wrap it tightly around the puppet. I bind the stinging fate to uh, David Noppel, I'll use his real name, it'll be easy. Until they're kind, may the bees cause them stinging pain. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Might have cut too much ribbon. I don't know how wrapped it's supposed to be. Sure, we'll call that good. It's all wrapped, see? It's beautiful. You can only see some of the nails. So then you just, uh, keep this somewhere until you feel like they've been punished enough or cursed enough. Or you feel like they're being kinder, and then you just take it and you burn it and you dispose of it, and you're done. That ha that's how you get rid of this curse. So I'm gonna go stick this somewhere, and I'll update you all on if it actually worked. It's secret. Shh. But um, you guys can go ahead and check out our Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, other Tumblr, and Twitter. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on this video. And don't forget to hit that bell icon up in the corner to make sure you're getting alerts from our account. 
so you can see when we're posting new stuff, like this video. You guys want to see this, right? I think you do. Anyways, that's it for today, Creeplings. Bye!